Hello, my name is Guhuru. I'm the owner of Split Cane Numia. And I've been building Split Cane bamboo rods for about seven years now. I'm a self-taught uh, rod builder. I started uh, fishing like most people with carbon rods. Uh, I asked around and a lot of people they said they use wooden rods. That really started me off and I found like why do I fish with plastic rods? I had to go old school, find my roots. So, so I got into looking and research about split king rods and I bought my first split king rods 10 years ago. It was an old Montana rod. It was really heavy and slow in the hand and I was really I put a modern line on that rod and I remember recall myself like oh I'm gonna break this rod any second and I surely did I broke the rod I started to develop my rods with the same feeling of a cardinal rod but still have the heart of a split king rod which can carry modern new, new lines which people are really surprised when they take up a rod and they try my rods and they say, oh, this, I can't handle bamboo rods because they are slow and they are really wavy. And, but when they try my rods, they're really surprised. You can do the same thing with a bamboo rod as you do with a carbon rod. I have three different tapers. I have my Prudy rod. The Prudy taper is uh, a small mid rod which goes for Six foot, five foot, four foot uh, in the weight of class one to four. It's a really small brook trout grayling rod, really, really enjoyable. Which are full action, full body action. And I have my second taper is the So Fine taper, which is a progress, works in the middle of the rod. And you can shoot long lines if you want to. You can throw 30 meters no problem. And my third tapering is called the Lecander. The Lecander taper is for Skagit rods, 13 foot, 12 foot, 11 foot. Maybe. <laughs> I spliced most of my rods because I find putting metal in bamboo is the worst you can do, in my opinion. The bamboo wanna flex and metal does not wanna flex. So my rods they are handmade by me. Uh, it's the same thing with the people who wanna buy a painting. They just don't wanna a random painting, they will actually want the painter to do a painting for them. And this is the same thing here. I'm doing it's 50-50, it's an art and still like a a tube. And bamboo is a living material, so every rod is unique in that way. The bamboo starts with I'm splitting a column into strips. Which I then hand plane down with uh, making a hexagon shape. I do one strip is 30 degrees on one side and 30 degrees on the other side. Then I set my form uh, to my taper. I plane that, then I glue it together. Blanks the rod. Then the customer can choose from what kind of wheel seat and what shape of a handle and what kinds of rings. So it's a lot of cosmetic the customer can choose by. So it's really a custom made rod. It's specific for that customer's choice. So to say. 
we have to really be careful with the rivers we have here in northern Sweden today because uh, it's a real rarity when I have a lot of French people coming up here that you can actually drink the same water you're fishing in. Yeah, that's really unique where I think a lot of people here take for granted. We have, uh, we have wild trout here. There's no stock trout in these rivers which I find really rare and they can grow really big and strong in these waters. I see uh, the guiding today is growing a lot. Uh, people fly fishing in general is growing. Uh, people really getting the knowledge behind taking care and preserving the trout or the fishes and the salmon we have today which I find is really great. Uh -huh.